welcome to Dev Tips. My name is Travis, and today we're going to be looking at my top five features in GitHub's Atom Code Editor. About a month ago, I published a video called My Code Editor, Atom, Setup and Packages. And you guys really enjoyed that video, so much so that I figured we'd return to the topic today. If you haven't seen that video, it will go over uh, where to go download it and how to set it up to get you going. So, features. There are a lot of kind of headline features in Atom that really give it a lot of its uh, uniqueness and strength. These are not a part of my top five list, but you should definitely be aware of them. So these are kind of like the honorable mentions of the video. Atom package library. The extension library in Atom is pretty substantial. There's a great community around this editor. Adam calls these extensions packages, and it has a really great package manager found in the settings screen. From there, you can search the web for new packages, remove the ones that you've previously installed, or mess with the individual package settings. Generally, if the package exists for Sublime, Adam has it too. Git aware. Adam is Git aware, and this is great. When you create a new file, it's colored green in the sidebar. When the file has been edited, it's orange. Right here at the bottom, you get a quick report of what Git branch you're on and how many new or deleted lines and how far ahead or behind you are of the remote branch. It's pretty sweet. Command palette. The command palette is accessible by the keys Command Shift P. This nifty menu here is pretty powerful. You can fire any command that Adam can do from this menu, and that even includes features added by packages that you install. All right, and now for my top five list. These are the things that I love about this editor. They may not be game-changing features, but they're things that whenever I use them, they definitely make me smile. The first feature is multi-line cursors. When I did a review of Coda, which is another code editor, I mentioned that it had multi-line edit. This is one step ahead, but it's super easy to use and really powerful. In this example, I have a UL with a bunch of list items. I'm just gonna click on the end of each of these list items here while I'm holding the command key. And each time I click, I'm inserting a new cursor. Now notice that unlike Coda, they're not all in the same column. It's just wherever I insert a cursor. So I can go uh, arrow back and forward and they all move independently of each other, but they're all obeying the same commands. Now you might think, oh, this is not gonna be useful because they're all crazy like. Well, you can use modifier keys like options to line them up like this. Now, let's say I want to go back and wrap each of each of these list items in an anchor tag. And you might be thinking, well, they're not all in the same column. How is this going to work if I start typing here? It's like all, you know, weird. If you use the modifier keys with the arrow keys, they're actually pretty powerful. For example, command and arrow goes to the end of the line or the beginning of the line. And now they're all lined up straight. I can hold option and jump to the beginning or the end of words. So I'll just jump to the beginning of the words that are all needed like this. So anyway, uh, anchor href equals, uh, you know, that's my anchor tag. And then I'll hold option and press right arrow key and jump to the end of the words and then end my anchor tag. It's pretty easy like that. In this way, the multi-line cursor is super powerful. There's a lot of uses for it. The next feature is the file finder. Now in a big project, it can be super annoying to have to click through uh, each of these, these folders to find the file that you want. You can just hit Command T, and let's say we wanted the, the file that had to do with colors. Uh, I don't remember exactly what its name was, but colors. We have colors.scss, color sass, and of columns. So it's, it's a fuzzy finder, so it found col or ol here. Um, this is the one we wanted right here, colors.sass and then we can just go find the thing that we're looking for. It's really fast and the fuzziness of the search works really well. Number three on the list is Atom Style Sheet. This thing exists for no other reason than to just make Atom hackable and make me happy. You can open Atom Style Sheet at any time by going to the Atom menu at the top here and then choosing Open Your Style Sheet. Now, it's super hackable, you can do a whole lot of things. I'm just gonna show you a really weird example, uh, tree. View is a is a selector, and then I'm gonna change the background to, you know, pink. And there you are. You can do anything. You can change the heaviness of the guidelines. You can change like the font size of the sidebar. You can like what's the line height? What are the icons like? Anything like that. You can you can do anything because this whole this whole editor. I just press Command Option I. And you can see that this whole interface here is selectable and, and kind of hackable. So for example. Uh, I don't know, let's just take this one here. We'll grab this one, tree view name. 
we'll say font size 3m. You see, I mean, that's, I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but you can do whatever you want. The next feature is something that I mentioned how to turn it on in the last settings video, but this is seriously, for me, I couldn't leave it out of this list. It's my number one feature, even though it's number four in this list. It's, it's my favorite thing in the world. And that is that Adam can scroll past the end of a document. So for example, here I have 91 lines in this document, but I can keep on scrolling and move and move this up and I just, I just love that because I used to do this. I used to go da 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 da, and that's how I would get this all this content up. But I don't need to have all these extra lines anymore because I can just scroll past the end. So in the settings, it's right here. Scroll past the end. If I turn that off, then I'm sad. Now I can't scroll up anymore. But then I turn it on. Watch this. Turn it on. Now I'm happy. I can scroll past the end. See, that's how it works. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Mm. It's really a life changer. It's, it just like increases your quality of life. The last feature on my list is super nerdy. We talked a little bit about it in the last series called GitHub for Noobs, but Adam can install command line shell commands. And how to do that is go to Adam and then click install shell commands and there that's done. Now when you're working in your terminal, if you guys you know like terminal, watch them, let me close this Adam here. Uh, you're working in your terminal and you can just write Atom and it will open a blank Atom editor. Now, if you want it to be targeted to the, the directory that you're working in, you write space dot and then when you hit enter, uh, it will open up the directory that you're working in. Now, this can work in a lot of ways. You can open up even specific uh, directories. So, for example, dot um, assets dot CSS. If I want to get into just my CSS folders right here, see it opened up just the CSS. You can open up, let's say, Adam dot slash um, the asterisk. An asterisk is a wildcard character, so that means anything that's in the root will just open that up. And that will open up the files themselves that are in the root. All right, so everything that can be opened up in its own little page here gets opened up. So there's a lot of useful ways that you can open Atom straight from the terminal, but you can also do other interesting things. And for a list of all those, go to Atom slash H, and it'll give you a help menu. Let me just make this bigger. It'll give you a help menu of all the things uh, that you that you can do. So for example, you can you know create a log file from all of the outputs that you're doing, um, put it in a safety mode or test versions, things like that. So this can be very, very handy for people who use the command line pretty often. Today's Dev Tips question of the week is, what is your favorite Atom package? Leave a comment down below and I'll make a video about the most popular packages that you guys mention. Now be sure to read through the other comments first because if you see the package already mentioned in another comment, just upvote that comment. The package that's you know top voted will win over the package that has the most individual comments, if that makes sense. It's not about number of times it's mentioned, it's about how many upvotes it gets. So go and thumb up your favorite one to make sure your package wins. And then you should visit patreon.com slash devtips. There is a community of helpful dev tipsters there who have all decided to pledge a few dollars of their choosing to the show. They get extra perks like seeing the videos early and extra videos and you know access to dev tips chat and monthly hangouts that we do. It's a fun time, come join us. Thank you for watching and keep on hacking. <laughs> Would that be? <laughs> Welcome to Dev Tip. Welcome to Dev Tips. Welcome to Dev Tips. Welcome to Dev Tips. My top five. Welcome to Dev Tips. Welcome to Dev. Welcome to Dev Tips. <sighs> five features in GitHub Atom. In GitHub Atom code. Editor. Welcome to Dev Tips. <clears throat> Welcome to Dev Tips. Top favorite, top five features. Welcome to Dev Tips. We're gonna be looking at my top, at my top five GitHub Atom features. Welcome to Dev Tips. Top, my top five. Welcome to Dev Tips. GitHub editor features. Why is it so hard to say? GitHub Atom editor. Atom editor. Atom editor? My 
that went well. Yeah, that was good. Great. And then 